Hey guys, thanks for stopping by my bring back. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. Click that button so you get the latest and greatest tutorials on mybringback.com slash mybringback's YouTube channel, whatever you guys are on now. Anyways, in this tutorial, we're going to be implementing the Facebook sharing social framework that Apple has for the latest iOS 6. A lot of people have asked about this, and obviously millions and millions of people on Facebook so it's a good way to promote your app promote different URLs within your applications and uh, a great way to allow the user to share whatever they want alright so what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna create a new project and within this project we're just gonna go ahead and select the single view application template alright in doing so we're gonna be calling this like you know something like Facebook sharing Nothing else matters is except for you know devices. You can set a universal. We'll probably just use the iPhone. Make sure the use storyboards and the use automatic reference counting is selected. Other than that, you're good to go. So click next. Excuse me. Save it wherever you'd like there. And then once your project loads here, we'll be jumping into actually implementing this. All right. So we've got our Facebook sharing application. The first thing that we have to do is we want to use Apple's framework that they've developed, for, I think it was back in iOS 5 when they implemented the Twitter sharing ability within the application, the native core code that they had. And how we're going to do that is we're going to go into, go ahead and select our project. We're going to click our target as Facebook sharing and we're going to go to the build phases. All right. And within the build phases, you'll see there's a link binary with libraries. Okay. So go ahead and downsize that so you can see what kind of binary libraries we have linked already. We're going to go ahead and add our social framework here. Okay. And again, this is something that Apple's already pre-written. So we don't have to worry about like writing all this boilerplate code and we can simply just click add and now we have it in our project. All right. So we're done with this section over here. Now you'll see that the social framework has been added to our project files which is perfect so now we can call upon what's actually in this social framework which we'll get into here in a little bit as far as headers and stuff like that so now what we have to do is we have to go and uh, basically set up our UI and we're basically gonna put a button on screen so select your storyboard right now we're gonna be using just the iPhone storyboard we could we could basically code it for both but we're not gonna worry about that for now and uh, so we're going to go and search for the button. We're going to drag and drop a round rectangular button on screen. Kind of put it in center there. And we'll put something like post to Facebook. All right, so you have this button on screen. Now, right now, we have nothing attached to this button. So you click this button. If we run our program now, nothing is going to actually happen. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to this editor. And we're going to show the assistant editor. Now this is a nice feature if you haven't already used it. Basically allows you to link and insert different outlets, different actions associated to your view controller using the classes associated. So we know that this, this view controller right now is associated to our view controller, view controller dot H and dot M. All right. And so what we're going to do is take this button here. We're going to select it. We're going to hold control. We're going to click and drag it over to our view controller dot H. All right. So once you drop or unclick your button, unclick your mouse there, you'll get basically this prompt allows us to hook up our outlet. In this case, we're going to be hooking up our action. All right. And we're just going to call this uh, post to Facebook is our button name or action name. And we're going to go ahead and click connect. All right. So you'll see in the view controller dot H we have our IB action established. Okay, so that's everything that we're going to do within the storyboard and the UI of our application because again, we're just going over how to post post to Facebook. So I'm going to go ahead and flip back to our standalone editor and uh, go over to our view controller dot M in this case. And you'll see that basically, you know, in view controller dot H, we've got our IB action established here. ViewController.m, again, we have the IB action post Facebook established. 
And now within the brackets here, we can write the code that we want to happen or we want our program to run once we click that button. Now before we can actually write any code and we actually implement um, the compose view controller that our social framework is going to be working off of, we have to bring in our social framework into the equation here. Okay, so we're going to do that by importing our social framework dot h and that allows us to utilize the different classes, methods, and uh, instances that they have already pre-written for us. Okay, so now we'll go down to the post of Facebook and the very first thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be checking to see if the service is available. If we can post to Facebook, then we want to provide these methods. And we're going to be doing that kind of that self checker because if you try to post to Facebook, you're going to get, you know, the user is going to get, or our user is going to get very, you know, convoluted and kind of looking at the screen as to why they can't post to it. And uh, this will allow us to kind of prompt them beforehand. So we're going to put in an if condition, if statement, and this if statement is going to pull from one of the classes that Apple's already predefined, which is our SL Compose View Controller, which I'll show you where that's at. We're going to simply ask it if this service is available. Is available for service type. All right, so now it comes to the string, and we're going to ask it what service type we're talking about here. And so if we simply put in SL Service Type, and in this case, we're going to be using Facebook. Another service type that you guys might be familiar with is Twitter. So if you guys are you looking to post to Twitter or something like that, you're going to use the same method and implementation here. But in this case, we're going to be using Facebook. So we're going to simply ask, you know, are you available? If you are, I screwed that up there. If you are, we want to do the following, okay? So if you are, we're going to first create an instance of our com code compose view controller and this instance we'll just call as like uh, Facebook post we're gonna set that equal to the SL compose view controller compose view controller for the service of again we're gonna use the SL service type Facebook alright so once you get this far you are almost there all right, so now we have to go and we have this instance of the Facebook post or the Compose View Controller, and there's a few different instance methods that we can create and basically spit up on the screen. This is where it's kind of like promoting your app comes into play and uh, different things that you'll see here in a second here. So what we're going to do is we're going to call our instance of the Compose View Controller, and we're going to tell it to set the initial text and if I can just spell initial text to a certain string. So this string, you know, we could put something like everyone switch to Google Plus. All right, so we're going to post that to Facebook and see if they like take down our post or something like that. We'll see. Those, those stink is there. All right, so basically within our Compose View controller, we've set the initial text to everyone switch to Google Plus. Now there's a few other things that we could probably do to this, which we're probably not going to add in right away, but we could also like put in like an ad, I'll show you here, we could do like a Facebook post, and we could do like an ad URL, alright, so we could add our specific URL to our website into the post, another one that we could probably do as a branding is we could add an image, and uh, so on and so forth, so we could post an image to Facebook as well as like a text as well as a URL. So there's different things that you could do there. Not really something that we have to do right now. So the very last thing that we d we have to do is we have to invoke our view controller because we have to we have to present it in some method. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to tell it to basically present the view controller. And we're going to tell it so uh, you know we have to tell what instance we're talking about, which is our Facebook post. Is it animated? In this case, we're going to say yes. And the completion, we're not going to worry about, so we're just going to put nil. All right. So now, just a quick reiteration of what we just did is basically when the button's pressed, when this action takes place, we're first going to look to see if we can post to Facebook. Is this specific service of Facebook accessible? 
once we figure out if it is we're gonna go ahead and create an instance of our compose view controller which is the compose view controller is uh, established within the social framework that Apple has you can look at it more on their documentation I'll show you quickly where I found this and then it goes on and basically says hey this compute compose view controller is gonna have initial text of everyone switch to Google Plus and then we're gonna go ahead and present this uh, view controller with an animation and uh, show it to our users so they can post to Facebook now quick before we go ahead and launch our application and make sure it works you'll see that uh, within the social framework I've actually opened up and expanded the views and the headers that are inside this and you'll see one of the headers is the SL compute compose view controller why do I say compose compose view controller which we've referenced within our uh, instantiation of that compose view controller so that's where I got that if you guys need to reference any methods which are in this header file you'll see those alright so without further ado we're gonna go ahead and click run and finish up this tutorial here alright so now once this loads we're gonna go ahead and click our button here which is post to Facebook and oh shoot okay no 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 oh, shoot I, I thought I was messing up there apparently we haven't configured our Facebook accounts within the settings of the application which isn't a problem because most people are either have it configured or they don't have it configured but since we put in the if statement basically asking if our service is available it prompts the user saying hey you haven't actually configured this go to the settings and configure it we're not gonna worry about it for now but you, as you can see we've got our Facebook social framework which is basically our compose view and we, we basically set the initial text so once you have your settings configured for Facebook you should be able to just go boom post that share it with friends you know da 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 and you've got it implemented within your application so without further ado hopefully you guys are learning a little bit within the tutorials here if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe like the videos and uh, hope to see you in the next tutorials alright I'll catch you guys later